Hey guys, welcome back to Urge Cole Fishing. I am, as always, the Bass Mariners Cole. And today, we're back out here in the flat bottom on one of my favorite lakes. This is a local lake. Uh, around here, we call it Hurricane Creek. It's a pretty big lake. I'm not sure of the acreage, but uh, you guys have seen me fish here. My frogging video earlier in the year was done on this lake. Now today, we've had about 24 hours of just straight torrential rain. And the water level out here is up a couple of feet uh, but it's not too muddy uh, it's usually a tannic lake anyway it is that way today now when I was coming in there was a lot of water coming in through the creeks and it was like a mud puddle when I put in but out here in the main lake uh, it's not too bad we still got a tannic color to the water as usual but uh, we're gonna get out of here today and we're gonna try to throw around a frog and maybe a trick worm and uh, some other things and see if we can't get a bite. Uh, as you can see, it's, as you can see, it is still pretty cloudy. The rain should be over, so we shouldn't be getting any of that today, but uh, we're gonna get out here today and, uh, you know, throw the old frog around and some more things and uh, see what we can get on this uh, very cloudy afternoon. So uh, stick with me. After a big old storm. Whoa. Little trick worm. Come here. Oh, let's see here. Let's get you in the boat, this one. <laughs> All right, guys. First one of the day. After a big storm. These fish are got several bites, but these fish are. These fish are hanging out. You guys seen me fish here before. Uh, these fish are hanging out on the edge of where those big lily pad flats were. They've not moved up just dirt shallow like you would think, but storm just happened and the water just came up. A little bit clearer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, there at the front, it was really muddy, but nice solid fish uh, on the outside edges of those uh, lily pad. I can see them when I get right up on them, but that's a nice fish, good healthy fish. These fish are really feeding up after the storm, so uh, hopefully we're going to get us some more of these, so stick with me. Nice. Let's put him back. Little bitty old dinker there on the old trick worm again. That's about the size we want. That 
last fish come off and it was my own fault because I had straight fluorocarbon which is only eight pounds but I'm gonna go to uh, 15 pounds straight braid on uh, on the next one hopefully we can uh, get him out of there it was my fault I tried to lift him up and it was eight pound and he jumped uh, I shouldn't have done that but just trying to get him in the boat so we could get a good look at him but there was a lesson you're in lily pads heavy cover don't use eight pound floral because it will break let's retie retie and get another one I knew there was one up on that bank I'm going along on this little bank line here I can just about guarantee there's going to be some fish in it because there usually is even when the water's not up when it is deep enough I think there's just a really really shallow I wouldn't even call it a creek it'd be like a like a ditch or something that goes along this bank line when uh, on normal at normal lake level so let's get some more Probably can't hear because it's so loud. Change colors and uh, we got us a little dinker. <laughs> I think the yeah the worm was almost as long as he was <laughs> all right guys as you can see we caused a couple good fish today uh lost one broke him off that was my fault totally but uh, we remedied that by tying on straight braid so we will not do that in the future anytime we're around lily pads don't use uh eight pound fluorocarbon let that be a lesson I uh, should have knew better but I was just trying to see if any activity was around see if I could catch a fish too and then uh, switch up to the straight 15 pound braid but uh, you know here was the uh, the uh, MVP today was the old white trick worm had that tail dipped in chartreuse and just a little five alt hook and that done the job today so uh, you know it's been a good day I've enjoyed myself out here winds not blowing just majorly uh, after this big storm that we had that came through like I said in the last 24 hours we've had flash flood warnings and uh, you know it's just been uh, been a lot of rain in the last 24 hours I'm sure that's got a little something to do with the bite uh, when I first got here it was just after it stopped raining and I was you know they were I could hear the uh, the fish just kind of pecking everywhere where the lily pads and everything were in here and this is usually where I'm sitting is really all matted up but uh, today it wasn't so uh, you know the water is up and I can you know it's actually a little bit clearer than I had anticipated uh, and I can kind of see where those lily pad uh, edges are and uh, so I was able to really uh, key in on those the fish were up dirt shallow today like I had anticipated they were kind of still hanging out in the pads where they normally would be uh, and on those edges so when I would bring it out to the edge where normally you know I would get like a frog blow up uh, and you know where the uh, lily pads ended is kind of where they were sitting today so that's what I've been keying on today and we had us a pretty good decent day you know I uh, would have liked to have caught some 10 pounders today because uh, there's some nice fish in here but just the way it goes I have enjoyed getting out today and uh, tossing the old trick worm around and uh, catching a few fish so uh, that being said, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I know it has been a minute since I uploaded a video. Had some things going on with the uh, the old uh, Black Pearl Venture boat. 
that's another story for another video but uh, i got some big things in the works but uh for right now i'll be uh fishing out of this little john boat for uh, for probably the next couple of trips uh, but stick with me i love fishing out of the old john boat it's kind of getting back to where i started so uh, with that being said thank you guys again for watching you know how i am i'm the bass manager's cole and i'm gonna see you guys down the road